since I haven't given you guys a chance to see down the hill in a while, I figure I'll take you down there. As you can see, everything grows really, really fast. Exceptionally so in the case of weeds and jungle grass. So, man, alive. If I don't come down here with a string trimmer every couple of weeks, it's out of control. And I haven't done it in more than a couple of weeks. Here are some of the pumpkins. You can see them running all the way up from down here. These, these have just been going and going and going. This ground here hadn't been put into pumpkin cultivation probably in a long time. And we haven't really had much trouble with vine borers down here. You see that? That's all pumpkins. Grass is growing in between. But, man, let's see if we can find some pumpkins. You see this? This is what I was talking about the other day when I said that banana trees were spontaneously falling on the pumpkin vines. Uh, they just, you know, there's a bit of a slope and they're kind of weak. So when it dries out and then it rains, bam, there goes the tree, particularly when it's fruiting. And unfortunately, these fruit were still young. There's nothing here worth saving unless I had pigs to feed them to. See, this right here is supposed to be the path. I'm trying to get through here without crushing pumpkin vines. It's really kind of a pain. Um, they're really good at being aggressive. If you've ever grown pumpkins before, you know, a lot of people that I told to grow uh, seminal pumpkins later came back to me and were like, those vines, they went into my neighbor's yard. And then they went past the neighbor's yard. And then they went to the parking lot and they ate a truck and then they climbed in the windows and now I'm on the news and it's about what they're like man here's another uh, you see some fallen bananas look at that this is just a lot of cleanup that needs to be done here but you know an afternoon with a machete you can take care of it provided my tendons survive here is a beautiful pumpkin right here it looks like one of my seminal pumpkin crosses, but as you can see, this one does not have the long neck, but that, that one's about ready. You can see how the vine is starting to turn yellow here? I can snap this sucker off and bring it back up to the house. That's just a few pound one, nice little serving size. And here is another one. Look at that guy. They're turning the right color here. I know that they're ripening up. They start out as a pale green, kind of some splotches on them, and then they mature to this beautiful, kind of a pale tan color, sort of like me. Here is one that is more of a calabaza. You see it's different, quite different from uh, the other ones. This is gonna be a, a stripy pumpkin, you can see. <laughs> Isn't that cool? It's pretty looking. So all through here is pumpkins as well. This was, yeah, look, there's one right there. This was uh, where I put in about, I don't know, six hills or something above the river, and they have completely eaten the entire area, become the dominant species, and the weeds no longer have a chance. Okay, that's kind of a cool looking one. I wonder if that's what uh, Bob the pumpkin might have looked like before he ripened up. I don't know, it's coming close though. I'll have to keep an eye on him. Here's one. Don't know what it is. We planted all kinds. It's sort of like a watermelon. Oh ho! Look at this one. <laughs> that one's cool. Look at that. That's neat. And here's another one. This one's more like a oval version of that one. Pretty. I don't know. You could, you're like. I know that there's got to be more in here that I'm not spotting. They just kind of are hiding. And it's not like they're gonna die back at some point and make it real easy on me until maybe the dry season. So we're gonna be hunting pumpkins, I think, for a long time. So for those of you that are just tuning in to this project, I've collected all the varieties of good pumpkin that I liked over the last year or so, or interesting looking pumpkins, and have thrown them all together to interbreed. And this is just the first time they're all planted and the ones that survive and do well and taste well I'll save and do it again and eventually we'll start selecting for types but right now we've got the fun part where everything is just really random I'm scared oh 
told me. 